I was actually inspired to write Tully by a pretty predictable life event, which is that I had my third child. And um, while the movie is not autobiographical in any way, I was able to kind of access the emotions that Marlowe was feeling because I had just had a baby. Um, I don't think I'd ever ever written anything in that super vulnerable postpartum state before, and I'm glad that I did because I think something interesting came out of it. Um, I was definitely in touch with something that I'm not ordinarily in touch with, and I was able to put those kind of raw feelings of fear <laughs> and exhaustion into the script. For Marlo, I liked the idea that she had gotten settled into a comfortable life. You know, she, you know, obviously her life wasn't easy. She's a working mom. You know, she's dealing with a kid who has special needs. But she kind of had things under control. And then she got pregnant with Mia. And that was the curveball. And that was what kind of pushed her into the abyss. Marlo and Tully have a really interesting rapport. And at first, I think Marlo is very uncomfortable with Telly. She doesn't quite understand who she's dealing with, and she's just kind of alarmed by the fact that Telly is this kid. Um, and at the same time, Telly is somehow able to speak to Marlo in this really specific and bizarre way, and they form a connection really quickly. And there's also the, the feeling when somebody comes into your life and saves you in some way, or is you know supporting you in some dramatic way, like it's very easy to become bonded to that person immediately. I'm kind of fascinated with the concept of night nurses because I had never heard of such a thing um, growing up in Illinois. And then I moved out to LA to work in the film business and suddenly I, I found out that a lot of new moms here hire someone to come and sleep in their house for the first few months so that um, they don't have to deal with the sleep deprivation of having a newborn. And I, I thought it was a completely strange idea and at the same time kind of brilliant. <laughs> and so, you know, I was sort of, I, I myself, I sort of stubbornly resisted having the night nurse for my eldest child, resisted with my second child, and when I had my third baby, I did hire a night nurse, and it was kind of shocking how much I fell in love with her just because she was like my savior. Like I was hanging on to my sanity because of her, and that inspired the script. This is the third movie that we've made together, or should I say that he's made from a script that I wrote. And um, it's the most important creative partnership in my life. Um, I, I love working with Jason. I know we will work together again. And, um, you know, it's, we have a shorthand between us, which is extremely helpful. I know he always understands what I'm trying to convey. And he's also so respectful of the decisions that I make in the script. This is my second time working with Charlize, and I cannot believe my luck because obviously she's an icon. I mean, she's so brilliant and she's so committed to these characters and also just an all-around cool person. But like, specifically, I feel like this is the best work she's ever done in this movie. I, she, you know, you're talking about this person who truly looks like a supermodel for being superficial. And in this movie, she becomes realistically this downtrodden, broken mother of three in suburban New York. I believe it 100%. Um, and that's magic. That's a magic trick. Ron Livingston is so great in this movie. He's, there are, there are scenes where he just grabs me by the heart. I, I, I feel so much for him. You know, he's not this one dimensional guy that's not doing enough. He's a man who has interests and a past and a life and a complicated love for his wife and he's holding it all together, just like Marla's holding it together. And that all comes across. And there are a couple of things he, that Ron has to do in this movie that are incredibly difficult and he just pulls it off. He's so great. Mackenzie is it's just, it's just a testament to, to Jason's brilliance that he 
thought of this young woman for this role because she's, I, I honestly don't know anyone else who could have played it. She's this perfect combination of like ethereal and playful, grounded and nerdy and just, she's such a perfect compliment to Charlize.